First of all, uh, we want to know how many container run inside pod deployment. Okay. So there are two type of container means first uh, uh, like a, it's a init container or you can say multi container. Both are multi container but some may have init container or some run parallelly. Okay. So let's have an example for both. I have a file. This is one of one is running. But if you will see inside my uh, ML file here you find init container and container. Okay. I'm creating one more file uh, which has two container but this time no in it it's a sidecar pod you will see here you will find two out of two here one out of one this means init container has done his work and now main container is running here there are two containers and both are running so we need to know how much container is there so that we can allot memory and cpu we can request memory and cpu for them so so first of all get that deployment into the ml file because here we are created uh, that deployment so that yaml file is available with us already but in many cases you won't have a deployment file ready with you so k or kubectl get deployment or you can say pod or any resources and here name is space here is default but uh, there might be that yaml file uh, that deployment is in a name is space yaml and then redirect it to I can say new cloud dot m after you have this deployment file this uh, backup so you can cat new cloud dot ml yaml and with a very beautiful command grip hyphen i you can write container why i write i because it will show the lines with the uh, container side container r r or partial where it is uh, word is there then i can use the same command but I can have E here, I have an I E and I can write container or image. So I can double verify it, how many containers are there. Because uh, in case, so let's get to work. I will, this is extended expression, regular expression. So I will just, uh, hmm. I'll make it now uh kget deployment deployment apps here multi app and this kget pod here two deployments is there i'll control l kget deployment and kget pod so i will take this yaml this yaml okay i want to know in this ml how many containers and this ml how many containers both the process is same i'll kget deployment multi app i hyphen o yaml neo yaml cat neo cloud ml grip hyphen i container you will see i'll write it in here you will see one container is showing because other ca is sidecar other container is sidecar i'll if multi app my app if i'll do same for my app get deployment my app hyphen o yaml new cloud dot yaml sorry i said i have I means done mistakenly hyphen o yaml multi app yaml new cloud hyphen multi app dot yaml and it is my app, app dot yaml. now we have two files now we'll uh already seen this we have find this only single container now with the same command here you will find two containers so but then in init container you are all uh, you are able to find this type of thing with the help of this command but not for uh multi means uh sidecar type of thing so now i'll write here image and here i will find e i'll write e so in my app you will find two container with image and if i'll do this for multi app then also you will find two images so you can have two containers means this two images showing that two containers okay so in both case there are two uh, two containers but in this case the resource will add in this case resources will not add request will not add sorry request will not add in this case request will add so now there is control plane and node 0 1 pod and deployment will deploy here 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 tent is there so no pod or deployment can be deployed here so okay so we have to worry for resources of these nodes for these nodes so our in broad lines there in broader area there would be name spaces where resource quotas is allowed or uh, created for that thing so we have to utilize for that but that is different op means that is very uh, little bit uh, advanced topic so we are uh, 
we'll look here that advanced topic we'll cover later uh now i will now i will type uh k get node k describe node zero one node zero so here you will find uh i will little bit reduce the font size here you will find many things our is capacity allocatable i'll copy this actually creation of uh, tutorial will take much time and uh, and so i will upload uh, that image i'll uh, clear this okay now let's understand this thing in a uh, little little uh so we won't find any difficulties uh this one this one this one is 1000 amp okay here you will uh, you will see this is the capacity okay total capacity here is allocatable means after that uh, things it's allocatable and now you will see cpu request means this many is already utilized this is already utilized if you see the summary allocatable resources means this is already 85 percent is already utilized and this is already uh utilized it's a limit means maximum how much can you utilize 100 percent can utilized okay and uh, now if you calculate it cpu request it is you can say you can find out uh, it's a 850m okay means only one minus 850m so only 150m means only one uh this can be entertained request of 150m can be entertained if you request more than this we want more than 150 that pod will go to the pending state okay so now i will create a pod uh with the request of uh, 200 m and let's check that pod will work or not well, look it is in pending state okay delete now i will edit this and i will here i will define 150 i'll remove this memory tags we'll see it's running because and if you will uh, describe node again you will find 100 percent utilized okay request is 100 percent utilized this allocatable resource is now you won't able to run any resource so uh thank you so much for your love uh, love and support part three uh will create uh soon hope you will understand this concept uh well uh thank you so much for your love and support once again uh stay connected stay tuned uh some videos we are not able to upload due to some policy issues and but uh i assure you means if you uh watch ck important video in my playlist uh you will able to solve 100 percent of the exam problems thank you so much